Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Kristen was working in her office at Demera Enterprises when Ava stepped in. I heard about your encounter at the pub yesterday, Kristen questioned. I knew I should have said something to you, Ava mumbled. Ava asked Kristen how she had learned about what had transpired. Gabby left a message last night, Kristen added. Gabby? Ava said. Kristen said that Gabby had told her that she had pitched a revival of Gabby Chic to Ava. Why didn't you tell me about this offer? Kristen asked. Because it's a terrible idea, Ava said. Ava reminded Kristen that Gabby did not know that Ava had slept with Stefan. She hates me. There is no way I'm going to be sitting side by side next to her, Ava complained. Kristen smiled. Actually, that's exactly what you are going to do, Kristen said. Kristen noted that Gabby Sheik was an essential addition to the firm. And it will give us a chance to compete with Basic Black, Kristen continued. Ava smirked. So, this is about Brady, Ava continued. Kristen maintained that, unlike Ava, she did not let her personal feelings prohibit her from pursuing a solid business opportunity. I want you to track, Gabby, down and get her to sign with us today before she changes her mind, Kristen demanded. Ava informed Kristen that Rafe was in a coma, and Kristen shrugged. You and I both know that, Gabby, has no problem setting aside her emotions in order to get what she wants, Kristen stated. Kristen added that if Ava wanted to keep her job, she needed to get past her hesitancy to work with Gabby. I will make her an offer today, Ava remarked. Kristen presented a contract to Ava for Gabby's signing. For the record, I still think this is a terrible idea, Ava remarked. For the record, I don't care, Kristen said. At the pub, Bobby read a story about the attack on Rafe. Sorry, Kamish. I didn't believe Crazy Connie would carry it that far. Nothing I can do about it now. And I see no reason to waste this beautiful opportunity to become closer with Jada, Bobby mumbled. Bobby stated that he needed to depart for the hospital. Everett? Stephanie said. Bobby was stunned. Did you say you were heading over to the hospital? Stephanie asked. Bobby nodded affirmatively, and he said he was going to therapy. Bobby lied and indicated that he had been making progress. I'm so glad to hear that, Stephanie responded. Well, don't get too excited. I don't want you to think we're getting back together, Bobby added. Stephanie looked dismayed, and she stated she had not thought that. With a nod, Bobby went out. At the Demera estate, Gabby crept around her bedroom as Stefan slept. Stefan woke up, and Gabby apologized. I just needed my rosary before I headed back to the hospital to see my brother, Gabby revealed. How's he doing? Stefan asked. Gabby confirmed that Rafe was still in a coma. Tired, Gabby told Stefan that she did not have the energy to fight. I don't want to quarrel with you either. I simply need you to quit pushing me away, Stefan stated. Gabby attempted to walk past Stefan, but he stopped her. I didn't say a word when you instructed me not to come to the hospital last night and particularly not when you decided to move out of our room. But now I need you to stop being so stubborn and let me be there for you, Stefan urged. Gabby asked Stefan if he was still upset at her for having exposed DJ. All that matters now is that your brother is battling for his life. So, please, let me help you through this, Stefan replied. With tears in her eyes, Gabby murmured, I'm scared I'm gonna lose him. Stefan hugged Gabby as she cried. After a minute, Gabby realized that she was not used to her big brother being helpless. Stefan inquired about the assailant, and Gabby remarked that there were no suspicions yet. I just keep thinking about the way it happened, stabbed in the back, Gabby added. Likely, Stefan noted. Gabby nodded yes. What if there is a connection? Gabby said. Gabby informed Stefan that Everett's alter, Bobby, had implied that there was an unknown killer. Do you think he's telling the truth? Stefan asked. Gabby shrugged. 
But if he is, that means that the person that murdered Lee is still out there, Gabby said. Stefan informed Gabby that Rafe had assumed that Gil was the killer. Maybe this is just some horrible coincidence? Stefan proposed. Maybe. All I know is I simply want my big brother back, Gabby added. Gabby hugged Stefan, and she thanked him. I know I've been trying to push you away. But it feels extremely lovely to have you here with me, Gabby said. I will always be here for you, whenever you need me, Stefan stated. Gabby asked Stefan to make love to her. After Gabby and Stefan made love, Gabby apologized for having caused problems with EJ. How do I know you actually mean it? Stefan asked. Well, I'm not sorry Eric got his kid back. And yeah, it was quite pleasant to screw your brother over after he sent me to prison. But I'm sorry I abused your confidence. I really am, Gabby responded. Stefan accepted Gabby's apologies. I'm sorry I got so mad at you, Stefan remarked. Stefan admitted that he had been foolish to let his anger split them after their long separation. You were harmed. And I don't blame you, Gabby remarked. Stefan sighed. When it comes to other people, we can lie, cheat, steal. But you and I need to be able to trust one other, Gabby added. Gabby grasped Stefan's hand in hers, and she resolved to never conceal a secret from him again. From now on, honesty and trust, Gabby stated. Honesty and trust, Stefan agreed. In Rafe's hospital room, Jada held Rafe's hand as she sat by his bedside. Kayla persuaded Jada to go home and sleep, but Jada refused. Jada said that she was terrified to leave Rafe's side. You can't think that way. He's a fighter. You know that, Kayla said. But the machines, they're still breathing for him. And there is no sign that he is getting any better, Jada remarked. That doesn't mean that he won't, Kayla said. Jada requested Kayla to give her an honest opinion regarding Rafe's possibilities. There really is no way of knowing, Kayla remarked. Kayla reminded Jada that Rafe had been attacked before and had survived. Jada was surprised to learn of the past attack. Things looked pretty dire back then, but Rafe had a strong spirit, Kayla recalled. Kayla commented that there was no reason to suppose that Rafe would not come through. I hope you're right. Because he has a lot left to do in this world, Jada remarked. After Kayla went, Jada resumed her vigil. I know that you deserve a little rest, but I'm going to require you to wake up. Not just for me, but for everyone at the department. For your friends. Your family. Gabby. I want you to know that the whole community is praying for you. I hope you can feel that. I hope you know how much I adore you, Jada remarked. Jada told Rafe that their time together had been the happiest of her life.